hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Louis so if this is your first time here on my channel please don't make it your last and if you're a returning subscriber I want to say thank you for always stopping by I really appreciate so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a rate card so it's going to make your business a lot more easier so that when clients send you a message like asking you what's like your price rate, your rates for um, you know services, you just tell them to send you a message while you forward them a rate card. So it's going to make your work really easy. So if this is what you're interested in, this video is definitely for you and you need to keep watching. Before we dive into our hair, we're going to be looking at what and what we need to, you know, make a rate card. So first, you need to like download the app. Like I use Canva. I don't think if Canva works for, you know, the Android phone, but I know it works for an iPhone and it works with network. Because most times when I don't have network, I can really like access you know the canva app so after downloading the canvas all you need to do is if you have um, what's called a logo or a business um, i don't know but i think i just did something with my name i gave it to someone actually to just do like a font for me using uh, my business name for it so i'm going to be using that in today's video to like show you guys how to do a rate card so first you need to download app and then pick a sheet you're going to be working in so first we're going to head straight to um the phone and then get the count app so you guys i'm trying to you know assess the app right now so I'm just waiting for it to come on. It's taking longer than I expected maybe because I'm connected to, you know, my camera. So that's why. So I'm going to just turn off the Wi-Fi now and see if it can open. It's taking time. I don't know why. Okay, let's go back and come back to the app. yay there we have it so first we're going to type because i like to use like the regular instagram you know sheet either for story or for you know the regular instagram post so first we're going to click on we're just going to type instagram post yeah so we're going to be working with a blank sheet so it's better to work with a blank sheet because you're going to have like um, a plain sheet to like, you know, play around. But if you're someone who likes your things really colorful, you can also pick like different types of, um, you know, background or like sheets that have, that has been worked on already. So all you just need to do is like take out some of the pictures and the write-ups and you know then infuse the one you want to so now i'm going to be working with the blank sheet so i'm going to open it so we're just going to do keep selection and then go back so first of all i already imported um my name like my look should i call it a logo so i already imported my logo before because i already did that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click the plus by the side and go to so if you're not if you don't have the logo in the app already you're going to keep click um on um what's it called upload sorry camera roll so you're going to just lead you to your phone like this you're going to see everything you have then um since i okay no 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 so we're going to click on uploads it's going to take us here so you do upload a media that's to get a, like a fresh you know picture but since i already have everything i need here i'm going to be working with this so i have my name here so i'm going to reduce it and just put it on top 
So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide to I'm going to do okay. I think I got that wrong. So let's do it again. I'm going to do effect. So you can pick any effects you want to, but sometimes I don't like to do all the effects and also I'm just going to leave it there. So right now I'm going to delete this and then bring back the logo. Sorry, not that one. Okay, so I have it here. So I'm going to reduce it and then leave it by the side. Sorry, leave it on top rather. So now transparency, I'm going to reduce it so it can just fade into my 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 sheet, like the plain sheet I'm working with. So I think I'm going to leave it like so. This is better. So we're going to leave it at 54% right here. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to head onto this plus button by the side and then and then type um, text. So now once the text opens, what I'm going to do is uh, the first one is bolder where you have add a heading so you can use that for a heading so let's say now i'm going to do like um, frontal installation or bridal hair with white wedding with frontal installation so i'm going to click on the add a heading because that one looks bold so bold the bolder um what's it called is it italics are better for like heading so that people can actually see you know the the um what's it called the heading clearly before they head up to um, the list of things you're going to be putting underneath. So now we're going to do here, we're going to click just like that and just start typing because it's already marked. So I'm going to just do white wedding. So I'm going to do white wedding and then reduce it. So I'm going to be reducing it like so and take it up onto this part so i feel it's still too dark and we're going to go to transparency and then drag it down a bit so i think it looks more better for me i don't know about you you can do whatever you feel is okay whatever suits your your brand so now the first one I'm going to add um, the second one so we're going to be listing out all the things we do for white wedding so white wedding like I have in my reads card I do I did white wedding with frontal then I did leave out so I'm going to use um, the add subheading so now I click on it and I'm going to do with frontal installation so I'm going to just reduce it and then drag it underneath the part where I have white wedding. So that's it. So we have under white wedding, you can see with frontal installation. So I'm going to do plus and go to add a sub subheading. So now I'm going to say, okay, let's assume we're doing frontal installation for like 5,000 Naira. So we're going to impute the price. So we're going to do like in Naira is N dash, the space, then you do five comma one, two, three, five thousand Naira. So we're going to do done and then reduce it a bit. So after reducing it, we're going to just click on this thing here and navigate it to the right. So now because um, this is figures and we really want it to like pop, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down to, you know, the bars under and then do color. So I I like to do figures in, in red because I think it helps to like pass the message, you know, quickly to the client you're sending it to. So we're going to head on to 
um, colors, we're going to pick red. Are you guys seeing? So you're going to just pick the one you want. So I think this shade of red is better. So I'm going to just click on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that's what we have there with frontal installation, 5,000 Naira. So the next thing we're going to do now is leave out. So we're going to click here and do add subtitle, subheading rather. Then we're going to do with leave out. With leave out. Okay, leave dash out. Then you can do in brackets gel styles because um, I, I still see gel styles as leave out because I mean you're supposed to try the same style for gel style because it's still white wedding so we're going to do gel styles or let's just do gel styling you close the bracket and then we choose it a bit then drag it under that one so we don't want everything to like you know look clustered so that's why i'm you know spacing it so your client or the person you're sending the rate card to can you know easily specify that the width installation is you know five thousand so it just goes straight on that end so we're going to go back to plus and then add a subheading so let's assume <coughs> excuse me let's assume with um leave out gel styling oh, i didn't spell that correct Gel styling. So I'm glad all this is happening so that when you make a mistake and you want to correct it, it's going to be really easy for you to do because you are seeing the way I'm doing it. So we're back. So we're going to click back to this one and then add a figure. So since we're doing with frontal installation for 5,000 Naira, so we can just assume, okay, gel styling we can do maybe 4,000 now I'm just saying I mean we're, we're trying to like you know illustrate what well, you can fix in your prices the way you want it because you are the one doing the job and you are the one who knows how much you got your products from for so it's up to you to like you know give your price range the way that fits you know whatever you're doing so it's a lot more easier that way so we're going to do did I say three? Okay, let's just do three thousand five hundred. So we're going to go to color. Since we already picked that color initially, so it's going to appear on top of it, so it can be easier for us to use. So we're going to like reduce this a bit and then follow it, and then put it underneath the first one. So that's how it's looking. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to do another add a heading. So we're going to do traditional marriage. So you can just type in. It's always advisable to even do in caps so that you know can be seen properly. So we're going to do traditional marriage. You can also do this for white wedding. So traditional marriage. Reduce it and then just bring it you can put it here you can also put it here so it depends on the style you want to do it depends on you so let's do that move it to the side so we're going to go to transparency i can find that okay you have to tap on the, the text uh, so it can lead you to wherever you're going to. So we're going to do transparency and then you know reduce it a bit. So that's it. So let's say um, we're doing traditional marriage with hair beads because most times I provide like the regular hair beads for my clients. So we're going to go to add a subheading. So with our hair beads, so reduce with our hair bits, so just put it directly under 
with our head bead. So we're going to go back to add a subheading, then click on it Naira. Then we can just say with our head bead is maybe 4,000 Naira. 4,000 Naira. So you reduce. Click on the text and then go to color and pick your color. So we can now bring it underneath that one. So you try and make sure everything is accurate, everything is on the same line because it makes it look more classier because I like to work with class. That's like the first thing when you send the rate card to your client and they're like, okay, these people, they're organized. Most times when people see your rate card and the way you even talk to your clients, they don't look down on you because I believe it. This is how it works. It's been working for me. So I just believe in accuracy, you know, class, comportment, because that's the first thing people see when they come to you. So if they are shouting, most times you don't shout with them, you just be quiet, you know, people respect you like that. So let's head back to what we're doing. So let's do add a subheading. So we're going to do with your habits. Okay, sorry guys, let's delete that and do it again. So with your habits, we're going to reduce it, bring it under, reduce it again. Okay, I think that's okay. And now bring it back, reduce put it underneath then we're going to add subheading again then we're going to do maybe 3000 or 2500 it depends on you so let's do 2500 reduce and go to color yeah so you bring it down so that's it. So we already have our white wedding and uh, traditional marriage, you know, already done. So let me put this in capital letter. Uh, select all, it's a lot more easier. Then you can just um, white wedding. What am I doing? So that's it. You can just reduce it a bit. Yeah. So um, for people who would like to do like a traditional marriage and a white wedding on the same day, you also have a package, a rate for them. So we're going to do add subheading. We're going to do whites and trad same day. So we're going to do white and trad same day. Then just put it here of space then we'll go to transparency and then we choose it a bit so it can fit into the mood for your read card so we can do red and white on the same day and do maybe 10,000 I'm just saying <laughs> so 10,000 Okay, let's do it this way, drag it to the side and then bring this right here, reduce a bit, then just let it fit, you know, then I'm going to color red, that's it. So we've successfully made a red card. So another thing I did on my rate card is I infused my address. So I'm just going to put my address, you know, 
you use um, what's it called the add a little bit of body text because that one is really small so we'll just do um i would like to put my address here so i'm gonna just put in good nigeria so in good nigeria so just do in good nigeria you can put the number put everything then leave it under your text your logo rather so we're going to readjust so everything can you know fit into it then you can also have your number under so let's just do i'm going to use my name as my phone number 0811 sorry so we're going to do 08lous so we're going to use my name as my phone number so we're just going to put it by this side or underneath the phone number sorry underneath the address so now we're going to readjust so that it can look more organized and not you know all over so that's it we have our it's card done so um if you guys can see we have like bars underneath where you have to switch into a new page so we have that one already done so you can just click on the second one then you can do terms and condition terms it can be in caps it can be in small letters but terms and conditions terms and conditions so you can just reduce put it there then take it up then you go to transparency click on it sorry guys then you just reduce it a bit so you can just write in you know your terms and condition it all depends on you the kind of terms and conditions you want to put there you can just list them out so um we're done with this so we have our rate card the terms and conditions so we're going to save it into our gallery so i'm going to just click on that so saving comes in like two forms you can save in pdf you can also save as a regular picture i mean for level's sake i like to do everything in pdf so once you ask me for my price rate my rate card I tell you to send my um, to send in your email so I can forward it to you because we're digital right now in the world we're living so everything should be registered because you might send to WhatsApp and something might happen maybe your WhatsApp crash but trust me your email can never crash so you can have everything saved in your mailbox so I like to do save in save as PDF so we're going to be doing that now so here in no no we're saving as image there so let's save as pdf sorry guys it's been a long time i used this uh, let's go let's go let's go save to folder save as dropbox okay so let's just keep sliding to find until we find pdf it's been like forever i used this app so uh, download okay good so you're going to click on download then suggested png then that's it so you click on it and you see PDF standard. You're going to click on PDF. Then you download. Good. So um, we're going to save to files now. You just save it to files. That's it. So to find it, you just click on files. Sorry guys, I've had a lot going on in my phone. So this is the rate card. This is what it looks like. So we have our rate card, our prices on the first page. Then on the second page, 
we have our terms and conditions so you can just forward it to the person so if the person is um maybe you know most times some people don't get to see their mails because of so many emails you can tell them to check their junk but if they still can't find it in their junk you request for their whatsapp and also send it as a pdf you send it as a document to them so they can have it but trust me it's always advisable to do email because it gets registered sometimes people can be crazy and you know when you have conversations and all they tend to like delete it just to you know torture you hi guys welcome back once again i hope this video was really insightful and you guys enjoyed it please in order to avoid people you know asking you prices because most times when you ask me my prices on the phone i don't even know what where to start with and where to start from because most times some people i don't know they have this grace of making you agree to a price that will not suit your service and will not make you happy after the whole thing so what i normally do is to just make it easier because it's business we're not running a charity organization i just tell them to send me a bill or send me a, a message on whatsapp then i forward them you know my rate card it's not always advisable to tell people your rates on the phone so i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and it was really insightful Please, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to do that before you leave. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them. Share them with your friends, because you know, like I always say, sharing is caring. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you'd want to see here on this channel? Please don't forget to leave it in the comments below. And I promise you guys, I am going to come through. So I want to say congratulations to everybody who won the free slots to my three days class. I hope you are enjoying it. So if you want to be, if if you would like to be picked for the next class, just let me know. And also be an active subscriber. That's the only way I can pick you. You get it? <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.